Hello Internet and welcome to a Star Citizen video with Haversite. With the 3.18 PTU now live for subscribers and concierge, today we are talking The Vulture, the new single player salvage ship created by Drake, bringing with it a new gameplay mode, hull scraping, which is the mechanic of breaking down ship exteriors and then converting it into recycled materials. So if you are wanting to see how The Vulture works, or perhaps you are interested in hull salvaging, then join me as we explore this new ship for the first time together on the 3.18 PTU. Are you ready? Let's go! In today's video we will be looking over two parts of The Vulture. One is just having a look at the general ship in general having a bit of a geek out as we normally do with the ships and then the second part I'm going to take the ship out and actually have a go at hull scraping see what it's all about and see how much we can earn really just have a bit of a general play around I'm no expert when it comes to the vulture I fell in love with the ship it reminds me of the venture uh, obviously that was a bit of a thing back when it was first announced uh, but overall I don't know nothing I know it's a salvage ship I know it looks cool that's about it so let's take a look at this vulture for the first time Ooh, new ships are always fun. Oh, look at this. Nice yellow. Always always reminded me of the Eventure. Well, I mean, that's practically what this ship was based off, really, when you think about it. Wow. Detail on it is amazing. There are the extractor parts, the salvage bits on the left and the right. Wow. It's big. Bigger than a prospector, that's for sure. They haven't even been inside yet. They've done a wonderful job. They always do with their ships. I'll give them that. Let's find the door and get inside. Oh, you look, you can go up the ladder. Let's go up the ladder. Oh, moving parts. Always good. And they go right down. <laughs> Sweet. You can walk along. Can you get in from here? Oh, yes, you can. Awesome. Don't want to do that though. Let's go jump down and have a look in the back. Uh, open. Very smooth. Very quick as well. I like it. That's where the box comes out of the salvage box. I know that much from what they showed on their videos. Oh, another ladder. I guess we're going up. Oh, ladder interactions. That's going to be fun when we have to move the box, I suppose. What else we got? What's out here? Oh, this is a, must be a weapons locker. Ooh. Comes with a complimentary bed. That's always handy. Alright, so. Cockpit. Sweet. Love it. Can't wait to get out in this and have a good old play with the salvager. So, overall, this is a pretty beastly industrial ship. Let's get out there and give it a swirl. So overall, first impressions are pretty good. We've got a nice ship that we've never flown before, so Haversight's now going to have some fun getting this in the air. And uh, ideally without crashing it. So, let's have a get those cargo doors opening and get the ship started. And have a look in the cockpit while we're in. So it's pretty clean, pretty Drake, typical Drake. As you remark, gives me a bit of prospector vibes with the controls and the placements that they are. I suppose that's pretty handy. All right. Oh, more moving parts when you turn on the salvage parts. Oh, that's sweet. All right. Well, so M does the moving parts. That's always handy. Uh, G is apparently supposed to do some. Oh, look. Yeah, it's sweet. You can move the lasers with G. Ha, oh, that's handy. I suppose you, apparently you're supposed to be able to move them individually as well. I suppose we'll worry about that a bit more when we get out there. All right, let's see how this ship handles. Uh, let's take off like this. <laughs> All right, so it's a bit a bit heavier than a prospector, that's for sure. All right, landing gears away. All right, let's uh, nose up a bit before we crash. And out we go. Oh, she's a bit heavy on the turn insides. Oh. Let's boost. Let's 
disrupt the display. Okay. Let's go find something to salvage. From what I've read, you can literally head outside of a Lagrange point and you'll find salvage. Ah, look, there's, there's got to be these things. Let's head over and see what it is. We're going a bit fast here. Have a side slow down, please. Oh, that definitely looks like a ship of some form. And uh, we'll wave as it goes by. Yeah, that just sums up my skills in flying. Alright, uh, a bit closer, please. Alright. So. What is it? I don't know. Whoa, hello. Oh, this looks like it's been ripped to shreds already with the leaves or... Oh, it's an 890 jump. Yeah, that looks pretty wrecked if you ask me. I suppose if I try and salvage it, it's not going to do much. Distance to target, yeah. Oh, it's working. Hoover up the hole. I think I'm a bit too close. There we go. Well, the effects on the lasers are awesome. And the hole stripping aspect is even better. I suppose you can get better ones, better extractors. I haven't really looked into that yet, but that'll be good to check out. Just like the lining lasers. Oh, you don't have to hold the mouse button down. That's even better. That would have got annoying. A bit too close again. of OCD. Make sure we get every bit so it looks tidy. Valid. Oh, that's the effects of the lasers. Oh, the percentage of hull, I suppose. That's... I told you I was a noob. I have no idea what I'm doing with this. So this is all pretty first-hand experience here. Oh, look, you move faster. The more valid it is. I'm still getting too close. Positioning is going to be fun. Make sure we get that right. I'm still too close. Get back a bit. Back a bit. Back a bit. Distance to target. 15 kilometers is apparently minimum. Valid. Uh, let's try a bit faster. Whee. Oh, what's that gone red for? I don't know what that meant. It's gone yellow now. Red is good, bad, bad, I guess. Proximity warning, yes, I know. Slow is better, I don't know. No idea. We're almost half full on that first cargo can, I... Oh, look, there's a vehicle hull percentage as well. A braid scraper. Uh, now we can change that somehow. I suppose you have to turn it off first. No? Ha! Hmm. <laughs> Press G and it's now moving the lasers individually of me, the ship moving. Let's get a full box and we can go and have a look how the uh, moving the box mechanic works. First impressions are pretty decent. I mean, that ladder is probably the only thing that I'm worried about because, you know, mole enthusiast. 
but we'll probably be able to jump down on that mole. Uh, on the mole, on the ladder that goes down to the box area. We'll find out in, in a moment when we head that way. Cargo, 97 percentiles, almost 98. 99, and we now have one SCU of cargo fill, filler station ejecting. That means we need to go to the back of the ship and sort the box out. Let's go. Oh, no, we didn't want to go out there. Uh oh. Um, okay, pressing Y is probably not the best idea when getting out of that ship. Um, let's open the door. Ah! Okay, PTU is PTU, I suppose. And there's got to be a way to get out of this chair somehow. Open door? No, we don't want to open the door. Uh, winding mode off. That's my multi tool. All right, try Y again to see if it gets me out the chair this time. Yes, it did get me out the chair that time. Awesome. PTU is PTU. Right. Down. Oh, ladder. Hmm. Can we jump? Can we jump? That's the question. Oh, you get... Oh, that ladder action so slow. No, that didn't work. Up. Oh, try again. How do we do it? How do we do it? Uh, not a fan of ladder animations. Okay, looks like you have to do the ladder animation for now. Oh, well, down's not too bad. Okay, so there's my box. Right, so, with the multi-tool... We should have to pick that up. Ah, oh, look, it snaps. <laughs> snaps into... No. Oh, it did snap into place. And you can pick it up. That's pretty cool. Handy arrow. Snapped. That's that. Back up we go to mine. Might call it mining salvaging. All right. So, not too shabby. Not too shabby. So, we're going to give the Abreed Scraper module a go. Looks like someone's actually come along. Oh, hello. He's come to come and salvage this hull alongside with me. Oh, you're more than welcome. More than enough for everyone, I'm sure. So, the Abreed Scraper module looks like it has a larger diameter. Uh, but what? So, you've got a chinch scraper, which is faster, but it's a smaller diameter and probably less efficient. Uh, looks like the efficiency were actually both the same. Oh, no. So, yeah. The, the chin scraper is more efficient than the abrade. But the abrade covers a fast, a larger area. So, in theory, it should be a bit quicker to collect the materials. Oh, look. Too close again. Let's... So, it's got 3.5 meters. I keep getting too close. But it does definitely look like it's actually filling up more... Quickly than the uh, other module. I'm just thinking, really, with that box in the back, you really still kind of need a second person, though it is obviously possible to keep getting in and out of the chair. There's a bit of a mole session coming on there. I mean, I'm used to that, so that's fine by me, but. Doesn't that look all valid? 100%, almost 80%. I'm going to have to definitely work on that ladder, see if we can get jumping down. That would be so much better than the ladder animation. It doesn't look like I'm picking much up. Oh, look, there you go. Hold it on there for a bit. There we go. Ah, look, valid. 99%, so I suppose the longer you hold it on... Seems to be doing much again. Definitely feels faster with the uh, braid scraper module. 
Well, I hear gunfire. Ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four. Gonna have to get out of the chair in a minute and go and pick, move that box again. Filler station ejecting. Let's get out of my chair. I'd let go out the door again. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Advertise it doesn't seem to be good at EV suits either. All right, let's get around to this door. Access the ramp. Oh, oh, that didn't go very well. Click. Oh, and then it snapped in. Nice. <laughs> uh, right, I suppose I should close this because we don't want any pirates. Oh, lights. Open. Lights. Up the ladder. Okay, that animation seems a bit funky getting in and out of the chairs at the minute. Chinch. Yeah, did we want chinch? No, we want a braid. A braid. Love the sounds. Efficiency. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So if it's got valid material, you can just literally leave it in the same position until it's got to zero percent. And then you can move the ship again, or the turrets. Oh. Until it's at zero percent. Seventy percent. That doesn't sound good, whatever that is. effects. Take some screenshots for the screen. So yeah, so look, 78%, 80%, and it just literally keeps on sucking in that material. It's better than moving it around all the time. No, less than one. Oop, no material. <laughs> just got to keep paying attention. Light show. <laughs> oh, so Need more attention. Oh, glitchy interface, that's for sure. Oh, filler station is ejecting again. Ah, it worked that time. Nice. Didn't get me out the chair into space. Right, let's try again. Nope. <laughs> Those barriers really make that difficult. Well, at least going down is really quick. Okay, fill it station. I mean, we can get in it and then realistically six on that side. Well, so you're looking at about maybe six, twelve, eighteen. That sounds about right. SCUs. Not quite sure how much this ship can hold. Oop. What's the menu say? Oh, you can create half of ones, even better. Okay, so every time you get out of the chair and then get back in it, it seems to seems to default back to chinch scraper mode, which is a bit frustrating. I'm sure there is a really distinct purpose for having either scraper used at a specific time.
Oh, well, that's handy, Harry. So once the first box is ejected, you can actually continue to extract more salvage. I wonder what happens once the second one's full. Because there'll be a box in the way downstairs, so maybe it lets you fill one up. You can go downstairs, move the other one, create the other one, and then move the second box. We'll find out. I'm loving this bit where you can actually just sit still with the ship and move the lasers independently of the ship. Very useful. It's that Venture still on the side of me trying to do stuff. Venture? Vulture. Definitely got a better angle looking up, aiming upwards than they do <laughs> aiming down. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but <laughs> it's got a pretty good field of movement. The extraction rate 0 0.06, 0 0.98. Yeah, it does fluctuate then. Alright, so what's going to happen when this box is full? Because I've not moved the one downstairs yet. 0.9, 100. Uh, <laughs> Philistration is obstructed. <laughs> Let's go move the box. I suppose this time round I'm going to have to empty the box and then create a new box. Oh look, I keep turning the lights off. Open door. There we go. Jump. Nope. Failed. Whee. Okay. So, it's obstructed. We'll move that box. Snap. What's this say? Please ensure that conveyor belt is clear and press the eject button to try again. Okay. Well, let's try again. Here it comes. Beep, beep. It's ready. Okay, so. Uh, maybe not put that one uh, there because, you know, box coming out of box machine. Snap. Back up we go. So, okay, so you can make two boxes. That's handy. So you're not up and down too often. In comparison, okay. The, the second the braid scope it definitely feels faster than the chinch. I mean, that's probably just because it's doing a large diameter. Well, yeah, doesn't matter. I mean, this is pretty enjoyable, <laughs> pretty calm. I don't know what the dude's doing next to me. Probably moving his boxes inside his ship. My box is ready. Fill it. Station is ejecting. Oh, he's alive again. <laughs> Not quite sure how, but I managed to uh, keep one of my lasers in one position. And the other moves. <laughs> I don't know how I've done that. <laughs> I don't know what I've done here. Why won't my laser move? Huh. Did I fix it? Yes. Trust have a side to know how to break things. 
And if it doesn't work, turn it off and on again. And that is the last box stored in the cargo holds. And we've got one extra as well. So this thing can hold 12 SUs of cargo. So 12 boxes overall. So now we need to get back to the station. So we'll head back. But sadly, on this run, I was a little bit unlucky. Purely on the basis that I actually encountered some bugs when landing. Uh, I couldn't actually get back up the elevator. The elevator wouldn't come down. Um, I went moved to another another landing platform that was on the outside. And uh, the <laughs> thankfully I was actually able to get into the station. But again, the panels on basically every display going just was black. It just wouldn't do nothing. Um, so I couldn't sell this cargo to find out how much it's worth. But with a bit of research, um, I've found some values of around 100,000 for a full vulture of cargo. But I, I can't confirm that at this time. But if that is, I mean, that's not too bad. I mean... It, <laughs> I say that's not bad, but in comparison to other things, it's pretty average, pretty, well, I'd say under average. I mean, we can do Daymar cave runs and earn anything above 100,000 in 10 minutes, so yeah, it's hard to tell at this stage in the game, because PTU is PTU. You don't know if the, the values are final. So a prospector earns 250, 260,000 in, in a run, but again, that takes 30 minutes to an hour, depending on how lucky you are with the rocks. So in comparison, it should be relatively on par if you take about the same time this run took me about 30 minutes to fill this up but again noob new to uh, using the ship so very inefficient at this time but uh yeah it's still fun it was good good gameplay and that's all that matters having fun overall though first impressions the ship's fantastic it looks great functionality i mean the mechanic of hull scraping in its first iteration is very well done um whilst though i'm not an expert at the system yet or, well, or will ever be uh, I found it enjoyable. It was pretty good. It was good to go out and find a ship and then salvage it. Although, at the minute, having them littered around a Lagrange point may not be how the future gameplay should be. I mean, it should be a little bit more harder to find the salvages, maybe. Um, but, I mean, of course, you can just hover around a combat zone and find it that way. Um, on the downside, though, at this time being that it is PTU, there are bugs. Um, like getting out of the chair, I was being thrown into space instead. Uh, but... The glitchy HUD was another thing. But I mean, these are just all PTU issues and they'll probably be resolved, hopefully be resolved. So make sure to submit bug reports just so they do get fixed. But overall, the docking issues was the biggest problem for me in this run today. But again, this could just be linked to the PTU not being able to access the panels. But overall, the ship itself was enjoyable to fly. It was flyable. The mechanic worked and that was, that was it. So overall, how have you got found out with this? Have you been able to fly? On the PTU yet? Have you been able to get in it? Have you flown the Vulture? Have you tried out the mechanic of salvaging? If you have, let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on it. Have you had fun doing it? Also, if there's a feature of the 3.18 PTU that you'd like to see, let me know and I'll see if I can feature it in a future video. Thank you for watching today. If you've liked this video, please take the time to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and click that notification icon to receive new updates on when I release new videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.